Yo, what up, you guys? My name is Gray Sky Vapor, and today I'm going to be talking about my top 10 favorite anime powers. This is going to be quick, simple, and it's pretty simple. Uh, some, um, this is not going to be just one power per like anime, so just get ready to hear some being used in the same anime. Number 10 is being a tail beast slash being a chinchuriki. These are really fun, and who, like, I think my favorite Biju has to be, um, Octopops um, is, and I like his, and being a ginger he can have this ultimate power that is never ending until you get final VG format, so I like it. Number nine is having the Renegon, this is from Naruto. It's because, like, you control, you can control people. I love the universal pull, you, like, pull people, you can pull objects that you want, you can have, like, your own clothes or whatever, and it's just really dope, and, like, always seen the Sasuke's Renegon, so I strongly love he can move in space and time, which is also cool. I love the running guard completely because you can like rebirth somebody. Like, say if you're about you're about to die and you want somebody that you want alive re reborn, you can use that power because you know you're about to die no matter what. You can use that power to re rebirth somebody, and that's really cool. Number nine, number eight, I'm sorry, is being a Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan like power, Super Saiyan two, three, no, no, not three, four, God. God Blue. I like the Dragon Ball franchise and being a Super Saiyan is really dope. So my favorite Super Saiyan one is Super Saiyan 2 because I like Gohan's lightning, lightning type hair, little headband down. I know that's all for all Super Saiyans like all Super Saiyan 2. But I like that one because it looks pretty cool. Number seven is instant transmission slash teleportation slash slumming summoning jutsu. His transmission and teleportation is the same thing. It's pretty much you can think of any time space and like teleport to that location. Summoning Jutsu is kind of the same because you can like teleport stuff to where you're at or you like you can be summoned somewhere and that's why it's right there. Number six is telepathy. This is really from your mind because the seven witches. I like it because it's, it's you can just control things with your mind, you can talk to people's heads. I mean, it's just really cool, and that's and telepathy is always. I've always loved the telepathy from seeing it from the Marvel comics, and that's why telepathy is number six. Number five is switching bodies with a kiss. This is also from the Marvel Comics the Seven Witches because I, it's not the fact that I like the kissing thing; it's the fact that you can switch bodies and you like see, see how these people live throughout life and how they like have all these friends, the other's friends, and everything, and. You can see that you, you actually have to kiss someone and show sentimental, sentimental feelings against one another, and that's why number five is kissing, aka switching bodies. Number four is Dragon Slayer Magic, Fire Dragon Slayer Magic, I must say. And the reason why I like this one is because I love all of Natsu's Fire Magic. I especially love the Fire Dragon World because it's pretty dope. It's like its own fire type jutsu, and not and like. Here in a fire dragon. Fire is not my favorite element, but it's pretty cool. Number three is ice magic. Everybody knows I love Grinch and Fairy Tale. Ice has always been one of my most utmost uh, favorite elements ever. And from ice magic is pretty dope. You can make any type of objects you want, animals, whatever. And that's why I like ice maker magic. Number two is the Sharing Gun. The reason why I like the Sharing Gun up most, the Genjutsu. I love the Genjutsu's that Itachi uses, Sasuke uses. I love the one that Shizui uses, and I like Obito Sharingan. I definitely love my special ones that Kayumi that Obito uses. Sharingan is the utmost best Jutsu I have ever seen in Naruto completely. But it's that, this is one reason why it's not in number one. Number one is the Shadow Clone Jutsu. Think about it. You never have to go to school. Always have like you. So you have to send a Shadow Clone to school. You don't have to go because you know why. You Shadow Clone so get all that intel inside and come straight to you right after school is over or he disappears. If you want to get into a fight with somebody, you Shadow Clone Jutsu. If you need help around the house. Shadow if you gotta lie, Shadow Clone Jutsu and like have your Shadow Clone transform into a person, give you credit. Shadow Clone Jutsu can be used for almost anything in this world that nobody knows of. It can help you do a lot of stuff. It helps you get smarter, beat somebody in a fight, dude. Just do everything. Shadow Clone Jutsu is, it makes the Rasengan also. Who doesn't want to do a Rasengan? And I mean, it's just really cool, guys. Thank you for watching my videos. This has been Gray Sky Vapor. I know this was pretty quick and pretty like bland. 
I don't know what I'm doing for the week. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a blog because I'm going to do something really special with my hair. Uh, so be looking out for that. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful night slash tomorrow night or morning or whatever. Whenever this gets posted, I hope you have a good time for that. This has been Gray Sky Vapor. Um, make sure to check out my vines. They're pretty funny. Um, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter and everything. You know, just check out all my, all my social media. Um, tell me what you guys think. Please give this a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Subscribe to my stuff, man. Funny stuff is coming. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Um, this has been Gray Sky Vapor. Um, and I will see you guys next time.